And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. to congratulate Agar, the master farmer. Just look at the fields, Orko. Sure looks good. It's the best food crop attorney has produced in years. Agar, I want you to know how grateful all of attorney is for your wonderful crop. Thank you, but it was the great rains that made the crops, not I. I think my son has a favor to ask from Orko. Could you do some magic for me, Orko? I love magic, please. Well, let's see now. Hmm. If I can use some of these luscious berries, I'll show you my combination juggling and disappearing trick. Help yourself. Okay, watch closely now. <laughs> if you like that, I can make desserts disappear, too. Orko, I think you've eaten enough, and we've got to get back to the palace. Goodbye, Agar, Garda, and thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tila. Bye. It's so big and ripe. Ooh, let's pick some. We can have some fresh corn for dinner. Good idea. You're supposed to cook it first. Well, it's much crunchier before it's cooked. Now that's what I call a crunch. Take this corn to the storage room. Uh-oh. A stranger. Stand back. Let me go, you cowards! Oh, this is wonderful. I should do it more often. You should. I do some of my best thinking here. It's always so... Help! Help! Something terrible has happened at the cornfields. What is it, Orko? Tila was dragged underground and I, I, I can't find her. Underground? By what? I don't know. It happened so fast. Let's go. What do you make of it? I don't know. Let's see if He-Man can find an answer. By the power of Grayskull! It was 
Right about here, the dealer disappeared. Cat, how about a little quick digging? <laughs> Cat, are you all right? No, He-Man, there's a tunnel down here. That's where Tila must have gone. I'll take a look. I'll come with you. I know she's your daughter, Duncan, but this hole could close up and trap us down there. If it does, we'll need you up here to help us out. Very well, He-Man, but hurry, please. I'm on my way. Far to jump back up there, what I need is a ladder. Quick, we must secure our prisoner. Ah! Any trouble up here? <sighs> Nothing I couldn't handle. is quite a fellow, but we'll stop him. Why are you doing this? Do you like fighting? No, I don't like violence, but my people are hungry. But there's no need to fight us. We'd be happy to help. I will not listen to above ground lies. <laughs> I don't know which way to go. These tunnels are like a maze. It's a dead end. We'll have to find another way. They're trying to start a cave in to trap us here. Now we've got He-Man, too. I wouldn't count on it if I were you. <laughs> One cave in is enough. Nice shot, He-Man. I've never seen the likes of him. Subternius, king of the Bellouts. Stay where you are. Taylor, let's go. I'm taking you back to the surface. One step toward her, and I'll order my soldiers to attack. Wait, let me speak with him. I think it's better that I stay. But Taylor. Subternius is very angry. I don't know why, but he isn't evil. Perhaps I can reason with him and stop a terrible attack against Eternia. I don't like the idea of you staying here. I can take care of myself. All right. I'm leaving, but be warned. Harm her and you'll answer to me. It was Tila's wish to stay I couldn't refuse. My daughter is both brave and smart. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. The next move is up to the Bellots. In the meantime, the farmers must be moved from the field. The Bellots could attack again. I don't understand why you feel you must attack us to get food. My people are hungry. Is that not reason enough? No. We'd be glad to share our food with you if you just ask. <laughs> That's what you say. But this is not the first time we've faced starvation. Once, long, long ago, our crops failed. And we did go above ground for help. The leader of the people we met said that they would share their food. But they tricked us, and then captured the rest of my people. They forced us to work in their fields as slaves. And this we did for many years. Until one day, I, I planned a great escape. And we did escape. Never to return to the service until today. 
How can I convince you we are not like those people who enslaved you? You cannot. I vowed never again to be tricked by the lying above grounders. And now the time has come for the great attack. I have built the best fighting machines ever. We will take your crops. And when we're finished, there will be no more Eternia. <laughs> Thank you all for moving us out of danger. It's the least we could do. With any luck, you'll be back on your land soon. The Bellots, they're attacking. Tila must have failed to convince them. Let me go with you, He-Man. I want to help. Garda, He-Man has important work to do, and it's much too dangerous. I know how you feel, Garda, but as your father said, this is dangerous work. Orko, stay and keep an eye on the farmers. I've got to warm up the dragon walker. And I'll keep the other eye on you. Good luck. They're taking the reserve food supply. <laughs> that should put an end to their mischief. Well, that's that. <laughs> Uh, he man, uh, help. Uh, got to get loose. Ram man. You all right, Ram Man? Whew. Tanks, Man at Arms. Man at Arms, watch out! There's more coming. Time to give them a little surprise. That's a handy little invention, Duncan. It does its job. I sure wish I could help He-Man. Wonder how the battle's going. Never mind about that. You'll get your chance when you grow up. Now finish collecting the corn. I'll be back soon. Uh, He-Man, look. By Eternia, what's that? protective force field, and it's a strong one. <sighs> a very strong one. Ram men, over here! They're coming! There's a force field around this thing. We've got to combine our power, Ram men. Hit it together. Oh, yeah. I get you, He-Man. Uh, let's do it. That did it. 
Now to stop that machine. just don't quit. Duncan, it seems every time we stop a machine, two more take its place. Well, I think I've found their weakness. I examined one of the machines, and it has no built-in power source, only a receiver. Then their power comes from somewhere else, probably underground. Exactly. A central generator beaming power to all these machines. You knock that out, and you knock them all out. All right, how do I find it? This electro compass will lead you right to it. It's set on the same wavelength as the receivers in the machines. Think you can handle things up here for a while? I'll do my best. Then I'm on my way. haven't met any resistance, all the bellout machines must be on the surface. This way. The power source must be right behind these doors. So, He-Man, you've discovered our secret. I'll give you one more chance to stop your attack. Otherwise, I'll have to destroy your power source. You cannot destroy it. Those doors are too strong, even for you. Oh, are they? No! Time to short out your machines. man must have made it to the power source. You're finished, Subternius. Boy, He-Man, that was great! Garda, look out! We'll see who is finished. Not another step. Attention! Open the gates! I'm going to flood the fields of Eternia. But why? That won't feed your people. No, but without fields to farm, You'll have no reason to enslave us. But my father works those fields, and that's how he earns his living. I understand that, boy. And I am sorry. I, too, am a farmer, but... No, you're not. My father says a farmer would never hurt the fields. And my father would never use slaves. He believes everyone should be free. We all do, Subternius. Freedom is our greatest gift. Listen to them, Subternius. Can't you see they're telling you the truth? Perhaps you're right, Teela. In my heart, I know the boy isn't lying. And neither are you and He-Man. I judged you by what those other people did to us so long ago. And now it's, it's too late, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not too late. Just stop the flooding. I can't. You see, the water has already been released. Then I'd better get going. <whistles> see any water. Oh, it's heading this way. heading out to sea. Well, it won't do any harm now. Well, Garda, I heard you had quite an adventure. Yes, I did. But I never should have disobeyed my father. I almost ruined everything. That's true. But you were very, very brave. Your father says that when you grow up, you want to join the palace guard. I think you'll make it. Hey, did you hear that? Agar, 
Do you think you can make up for all the crops we lost? Oh, yes. Subternius and the Bellots volunteered to help us. There'll be enough food for us all. You couldn't ask for harder workers than the Bellots. Yes. And there's one worker I wish you would make stop. Who's that? Orko. For every berry he picks, he eats four. <laughs> <laughs> In our story today, we can all learn a valuable lesson. Subternius and his underground people hated all those who lived above ground because of the actions of a few. Well, that's like throwing away a barrel of good apples just because one happens to be bad. Right. Every day we meet all kinds of people. Most will be nice. Some may be bad. But it's unfair to judge an entire group by the actions of just a few. Right. Till later. So long. <laughs>